Key points. The criticism of Trudeau. Concerns about anti-Semitism. Prioritizing prevention and protection. Imagine having lunch in a Jewish-owned business in downtown Toronto only to be shouted at because you're Jewish. Imagine being harassed outside your children's school where you've been told that they would be safe as they are escorted in by uniformed police officers. Imagine being told you shouldn't come to the office on, the mo on a Monday morning, or maybe they would be wise to take off the religious identifier that was meant to signify your faith off your front door because it would make you a target. You don't have to imagine it. It's all happening here. And it's further fueled by the irresponsible statements pushed by the prime minister who six days after rep repeating Hamas's talking points still hasn't corrected the record. Imagine being terrified in your own community and having a prime minister who hasn't said a word about it. Quite the opposite. He took the word of a terrorist organization over his own militaries and our allies and still hasn't retracted his statement. Psychological analysis. Melissa Lantzman is worried that recent events in Israel might lead to more anti-Semitism, which is hatred or discrimination against Jewish people. She's also criticizing Prime Minister Trudeau for not speaking up about these concerns in the Jewish community. She thinks strong leaders should support vulnerable groups when there's a crisis. Lantzman is even accusing Trudeau of trusting a terrorist organization more than his military and allies. This is all about national security and keeping good relationships with other countries. And she's really concerned about the safety of different communities like Muslim, Arab, Arab American, and Palestinian American groups. There have been hate-motivated attacks, and she wants to make sure people in those communities are safe. What do you think?